This video is brought to you by Sutton Transportation. Now hiring Super B Woodchip, Super B Flat Deck Class 1 drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. To apply, go to sutco.ca. Use promo code QUANTFAM, let them know I sent you. Get an extra hiring box on your first payday. Plus, make sure you write my name in as a reference. Any referral bonuses I get, I will split with you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Yeah, definitely not morning anymore. Yep. Quite the curb there to get onto the road. Hammer down, hammer down. Beautiful October day. Happy Friday. Hope you guys all have an awesome weekend. Weather can't decide what it wants to be today. It is plus 16 degrees Celsius. We've had blue sky, we've had clouds, we've had downpour rain all night. Yeah, it rained hard last night. Road kind of curve funny. I'm gonna have to turn that off due to swearing. Got her one swear word in, and I gotta turn it off already. Which is kind of a bummer because you know there's heavy traffic. Yeah, there's heavy traffic. At least they said westbound there's heavy traffic. Let's get out of this lane. I know it eventually becomes an exit only, and it's always slow with all the people merging on and off. We know there's an accident on the other side, so everybody's gonna stop and look over on this side. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the eastbound traffic. But we know there's an accident on the westbound traffic. Somewhere. I don't know where, but well, somewhere. It's around 200, so we should be coming up to... Unless that was something else. So, of course, that means everybody going eastbound is going to slow down and look. It's got to be done, right? Pretty natural. We always want to know what's going on. Hey, what's going on over there? Because I can't even really blame people for it, even though it is obnoxious. It can cause extra accidents. Oh, LRV made an aggressive lane change. See, I knew that was an exit only. Yeah, There's not a lot of traffic, yeah. yeah. Traffic just dies on the other side. I see some flashing lights on the other side, just yellow flashing lights. Looks like there's a yeah, there's truck. Yeah, a gravel truck. Yeah. Blocking like the whole highway. Yep. He's jackknifed over the highway. Yeah. How? And everybody's hitting the brakes here. Oh, yeah. They all have to look at that. There's a dropped trail over here for gravel. They're trying to help them out. Yeah, probably dropped a trailer here. How's how are you jackknifed on the highway like that? Maybe he was trying to avoid some kind of accident and caused the accident. Yeah, he. Yeah, that's that's that's. Closed, closed. No signal light, no blinky blinky. Yeah, he's jackknifed all over the place. Literally closing. I think it's four lanes on that side. Got three lanes, yeah, plus the turn lane, yeah. It's four lanes. It's blocking four lanes, just like this side is here. Let's turn it back up on the picture. Everything's like. having the radio on just to warn people. Grab my 
a bag of chips. A little snack after all that work. Change my clothes after all that work. That's different. We've delivered many, many loads to this, like as a company, many, 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 many loads. But this load, the chipper loaded it differently so that the forklift could not actually lift the panels off. So they were too heavy. Heavy? Yeah. Instead of, we've always kept to this place two panels stacked on top of each other, and then you have done it, so the forks can go in. This time they stacked them three on top of each other, and the forklift just couldn't lift it. for next load and then finally we got this load showed up at 12 o'clock and got loaded I'm like what's gonna... the hold up westbound it's 26 215 to 216 dump truck and trailer jackknife blocking all lanes you might as well go off duty and take a break thanks it's at 200 so if they can get off You guys are headed westbound it's at 200 so if you want to get off before that if you can do that but uh yeah if you guys are westbound it'll be a while most of them get on and off at 200 so it doesn't help them too much He's loading him. I'm like, uh, two empty containers. He goes, no, they're loaded. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Stack them right next to each other. They're only 20 feet long. I'm like, we have to have a gap between the containers. And he goes, are you sure? I'm like, I'm pretty sure. Let me call. I made some phone calls. I called CVSE. I called my boss. I said, yep, I need four loaded containers. You know those that you see on the big chipping chips and trains and stuff like that? I have two 20 footers on those on the back. For loaded containers, you need two chains X on the front and on the back for each container, for loaded containers. So I needed to make, get him to put a gap between the containers so that uh, I could uh, legally chain it down. And I was literally thinking, how do I reduce weight on this trailer? I'm carrying eight chains. I never need eight chains. I haven't used eight chains since I held, held, held a super beam. We had know? this conversation yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, literally had this conversation yesterday. I'm like, I'm gonna get rid of half of those chains. I'm like, really, if I get a container that's loaded, it's gonna be one container, cause they're heavy. They'll only ever give me one container. I'll only need eight chains. No, four chains. I'll only ever need four chains. I'm carrying eight chains. Reduce quite a bit of weight. Like, I think I'll do that. Next time I pull through Salmo, I'll get rid of some of my chains. Never mind. Never mind. I literally need every single chain I have on this load to be legal. Like, well, thank goodness I didn't get rid of those chains yet. You might not want to for a bit. No, I'll just keep it going. That's not worth reducing the weight. I'd have to say, no, I can't take this load.
heads up westbound, you want to do a U-turn and head over to the other side of the river because the highway is closed at 200. Nice if you guys had your radios on. Doing you guys a whoa, aggressive. So they're not loaded super heavy. The containers are locked up, so I have no idea what's inside of them. It's a little bit concerning. I don't know what I'm transporting. I'm joking is a house, even kitchen sink. Well, the concern is, is everything legal inside of it? Should be. I think is there anything going on westbound? 200 Street? Westbound 200 is closed. You want to go drive on the other side of the river, do a U-turn if you have to. That'll be closed for a long time. you got a jackknife, a dump truck blocking all lanes. Awesome. Uh, where's the back of the line? Are you filming? Uh, the back of the line wasn't too long, but I can't quite remember where it was. Yeah, I guess I'll find it sooner or later. Thanks for the heads up. Ever growing back of the line without that traffic in that way. I guess I'll just have to listen to this video and block on any curse words. Take longer to edit, but. For containers, I just like left the flare flares has my stuff in it, but I don't think I don't know. I don't think they have to tell you anything else. in the paperwork where it's going? Yeah. I'm like, he never asked me where I was. He just literally started loading me. I never told him where I'm going. And I, he never asked me where I'm going. He just, I guess I'm the only mm -hmm. sucker truck coming in. Well, the fact he barely even parked before he loaded you. It was like, we came around the corner and he was ready. Had the container up in the air as I came around the corner. <laughs> like, you didn't have much choice in the matter. <laughs> You're getting that container. Highway 17 on the other side. Loki. I just call it 17. Yeah, 17. I asked. I just call it 17. It's 17 then. <laughs> Couldn't quite remember. Or is it 7? 17? I don't know. That's up westbound. Highway is closed at 200 and it'll be closed for a while. You might want to take 17. Seven, I guess. Yep, I saw a jackknife dump truck that went into the barrier blocking both lanes just before 200. Seven. I wasn't sure. Did 
we say where we are? I guess all the talking kind of gives away where we are. For those that still don't know where we are, we're on Highway 1 eastbound, coming up towards Abbotsford, leaving Langley. Sign happens for Westbound, you want to take Highway 7. Highway 1 is closed at 200. Jackknife truck blocking all lanes. No response on that one. The last one got a response. I want to be able to turn our radio off, but we're tired of the cursing. We're tired of the cursing, and then we turn the radio off. Now it's dead. I guess not just the cursing, but the racist things that are said. Well. Yeah. Some of them really didn't learn the whole don't say nothing. You don't have anything nice to say. stop I'm like nope can't make that corner uh, reverse back move the fifth wheel all the way up basically I shorten the trailer why don't I always do that come to that in a second but if you can you you move the fifth wheel forward so basically where the trailer is hooked onto the truck is closer to the cab and then you can make the corner a little tighter it's like back up retry the corner and this time I put the nose right into the corner then I had to back up forward back up forward to get the truck turned but kept the trailer right against the other side slowly creeped around the corner and just barely cleared it. I can see why there's a camera there. So many drivers probably take out that corner. I'm waving to that camera. So my fifth wheel is in the wrong place right now. Whoa! Really? <laughs> you are a jack wagon. Holy, like, idiot alert. Not well, as bad as yesterday's. If you guys want, want to see a really bad one, you guys need to hit that join button. That video is going to get sent to the police. But that was a bonus video, and it's a bonus video, and it'll stay a bonus video.
Pepsi Mount uh, Baker. It's in the clouds. You're gonna explain. Explain what? Why don't always move your feet? Oh, why do? Why is my fifth wheel where it is? Right, I forgot about that. So I usually set the fifth wheel as far back as legally possible for Canadian legal length without needing a permit. As far back as possible. Because U.S. bridge laws, the further your truck axles are from the trailer axles, the more weight you're allowed to carry. Every foot you can stretch out between your truck axle and trailer axle is an extra 500 pounds, give or take. There's some weird quirks in there, but about 500 pounds more you can carry for every foot you're stretched out. So that's why I put the fifth wheel as far back as legal in Canada and far enough forward that you, for the US you round it up to the foot unless a state says you can't round it up to be as long as possible for U.S. loads without having to move the fifth wheel back and forth, back and forth all the time. For the most part, I just, I actually painted where it goes and I just set it there and leave it there. up westbound uh, you want to take highway 7 highway 1's closed at 200 Dump truck and trailer blocking the whole highway. Good 
Friday. There's only a few roads over here that truckers can get. Red and Westbound, if you can take Highway 7 or Fraser Highway, take it there. Exactly. Yep. There's only a few places truckers can go. <laughs> if you're in a car, man, there's so many back roads. Yeah. yeah. So easy. Is Y Road open again westbound from 200 from uh, New Mass? Oh, it's probably, uh... No, it's closed at New Mass, but you can go down a couple blocks south and then kind of backtrack and then carry it back on down. Thank you, Chris. That's about north to south. Yeah, that's where yeah, the uh, CDMC is. Construction down there. Mass. He's asking about that road. It's different, different. This construction he's talking about, not the incident. He's trying to figure out how to go around. <laughs> so Anybody know if the DOT are still hanging out there on the bypass, on the 11? <laughs> yeah, they're still there. Scratch that. Okay, thank you. Can't go on that way if the DOT's there. Apparently, he's not letting them are there. Sketchy load. <laughs> I hate having to worry about the TBSE. Perfect help earlier. Just run legal and it just takes away that stress. Yep. I have accidentally realized I was overweight after it was too late. So I have been worried about CBSE. When I thought I was legal, and then I hit the first scale, and I'm like, whoa, apparently I read the scale, or my gauge is wrong. So I have had one or two trips like that, where it's like, oh, I'm nervous about this one. But you don't do it every day, like, that's I stressful, just... I'm not going to, on purpose, take a sketchy load. <laughs> Here on the radio, always people ask, hey, is the scale open or closed? I prefer them to be closed, but I don't care if they're open. I'm running legal 99.9% .9 of the time. If I'm not running legal, it was a mistake on my part. We'd rather have the shipper be mad at us. <laughs> yep, yeah, I've had an angry phone call. Why did you, you turn down some pallets? Overweight, couldn't take it. And it always... The answer right away is, oh, okay, thanks. <coughs> we're, we're, we're mad at you for not taking the full load. Why did you not take the full load? Because I couldn't. I'm not taking an overweight ticket. Not happening. Well, even from this trailer to your last trailer, it's completely different. Yeah, this trailer is about 500 pounds heavier. So that's why we had that discussion yesterday about how do I make this trailer a little lighter. Every trailer would be different for every truck. It's just... It's not one easy answer for how much you can carry. Heads up westbound, uh, find a detour past 200 because Highway 1's closed at 200. Thank you, Officer. It's blocked up way past 200, so no, you can't turn off at 200. It's way backed up. Thanks, yeah, One of them new Canadians uh, with the transfer wagon jack makes it. Jack and I fit in a way to block all the lanes. Very impressive. Flat, dry, bare roads. They always find a way. Radios and over here, because 
before I get into the city. I've got that on the radio there, eight two ten through there to collect two hundred and three straight minutes. So how far is it back up? Where is he? Close to the exit to the end of the city. Yeah, there's a gold truck working on it. They're opening it up. Okay. The tow truck is there. They're saying that the tow truck has moved it enough that one lane's open. Oh, well, but the, the amount of traffic is yeah. going to be there for a while. <laughs> and then they'll have to close again to safely move it again. So somebody. <laughs> chain react. It's nice to have the, the radio leapfrog. Is that Amber? Here we have our radio run too. Kind of seems to have very good. And then we turn it off. <laughs> We're like, nope. Amber, where are you hiding? Eventually we'll be able to do speed limit. For right now we're just playing follow the leader. I can't unroll them. Your straps will do that too. Yeah. It's no fun. <laughs> One time we had to take. Did someone say they're clearing up that jackknife for 200? So I had to take a tiger torch to uh, loosen the straps. Oh, yeah. That's what we're it sounds like westbound, uh, the tow truck might have one lane open now. Broken 
down new vehicles. safely they're just going to enforce that they're super nice people like i rarely run into a grumpy uh dot or cbse most of them are really super friendly i've been pulled in a couple of times and said hey what's going on over here i explain the thing and off i go sometimes they make me change something but i've never i have yet to get a ticket well i've got fix it tickets basically just a fix this item before your next load but no monetary ticket just a piece of paper that says you must fix this defect before your next load or else if we catch you then we will give you a ticket that's going to cost you money i don't know, don't have to be scared of them most of them are super friendly and really know what they're doing and i don't play the lottery but i don't think most of them do either it's usually only one or two offers for how many trucks? Yeah. <laughs> if they have somebody pulled over, they're not going to launch you, so... I'm not saying that's the right thing either, but there's no security even going down that route to take that chance. Coming through Chilliwack here, so... It will start, uh... Highway will start opening up. Pass here on the right hand side. Fuel up there quite often. Finding parking there is a different story. Uh, I would love to rely on that as a parking spot, but I can't ever rely on that as a parking spot. I, I have slept there once or twice, but basically just when you lock out. Last night we had a train. It felt like I was on a ferry the whole night. Rumble, rumble. Yeah, last night every single time a train drove by, it felt like a mini earthquake. But I sleep fine with that. You yeah. slept fine. We had white noise from the rain, so that kind of helped soothe me. They don't blow their horn there, it's just a rumble by. And which is nice. There's a few times we parked somewhere with the train that closed its work. Yeah, we've made that mistake and it's like, never park there again. is now matching my speed and I can't get back in. That's okay, we'll just stay on this side then. We speed up as that big ring pulled in, but no. Even this side is slow. We're 92 kilometers per hour right now.
Black's the last bigger city before we go back into the mountains. fight the parking spot with a, me and the other driver always park in the same area <clears throat> so yesterday we were saw each other on the road and we talked talked on the radio and he thinks I'll make it there first so we'll see just because I make it there before him doesn't mean another truck hasn't taken the space like last weekend and last weekend the guy that took our space parked in the way that only one truck could park there instead of two. Like, park all the way forward to the beginning of the parking zone. I guess maybe there was a car there that he couldn't when he parked, but so he should give him the benefit of the doubt, but it certainly didn't feel like it. Looks like a big beam of concrete, probably going as a, becoming a bridge. Uh, this when you were pulled over in your... Oh, when I was uh, doing my load secure? Yeah. Just, just past us? So, we caught up to it. Yeah, so the bridge itself is the trailer. Yep. Three straps on the front and four straps on the back holding the two trailers together. The two and sets of axles together. Like it's raining up that way though, so we might run into some rain still. Yeah, I'm looking at the webcams right now. Last well, chance to do that. It's dry up there. Nice. It's like the roads were wet earlier, but.
they're still pressure washing the top of those uh, greenhouses. Uh, it's so funny to me. It's a good point. Pressure wash the glass so you get more sun in during the winter. So in the fall you want to do a good pressure wash around of those greenhouses. Yeah, you can, in 
Abbotsford or over here in Hope, you can cut across to the other side of the river, but that's only a two-lane highway. So if everybody does it, it just becomes a traffic jam on that side worse than on this side. So. one more load secure so thank you guys so much I'll see you guys on Monday no idea where I'm headed on Monday no adjustment next week nope. in a few weeks she'll be back after vacation maybe maybe the first week after vacation maybe the third week after vacation yeah won't be the second week it's too far away to know for sure This is one of my favorite places to pull over and do a load secure and make sure all my, I guess, chains instead of straps are nice and secure and nothing is moved. Nice. Everybody exits over here. Hardly anyone ever drives straight here, so it's a nice quiet section of the road. Safely do that. Anyway, we are out of here. You guys rock. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.